Papoon Biology Science Department. Subject number 01, Surgical. Documented by Dr. C. Bean. Uh, hello, my name is Coco Bean, or Dr. Bean if they call me back at the company. And um, recently, the uh, place I work for has introduced a new type of experimental system. I'll briefly explain it here. So, I've been working for this company a little while now, I'd say two to three years. But the past couple of months I've been with my family, they've called me back and everything seemed new, almost. I don't know what this company's been doing, but I assure you, I don't think it's going to end well. The company recently introduced a new type of um, experimental project, and that project is testing on us baboons. The baboon, monkey, gorilla, just any stuff like that, can hand themselves in and donate to the project. And, well, I can't get into the details. Some stuff is too unclear due to confidential stuff, and if this tape ever gets out, I don't want to cause misunderstanding or confusion. Anyway, this was the first ever subject used for the project, nicknamed Surgical. The body donor was unknown at the time. They had no name tag, nothing to show who they were. Anyway, back to the main things. I did a couple of analogies on the subject whilst in body lock. I'll go through them one at a time. Uh, here we go. Uh, okay, so um, the first analogy that we did was in the chest. The fur and skin and excess tissue and stuff was uh, easy to pierce through, but here's where it gets interesting. Um, despite the subject being have transformed into a mutant, the organ seems like completely fine. A couple of guts were stringed around here and there, but from what I could see, everything was completely fine. The next analogy performed by me and the other scientists put on a task was um was to check the head. Now this is where it really gets interesting. When the head was opened up, all the tissue inside was able to be moved like really easily, but the brain looked like it had been like completely decayed. Um, it looked to have been broken through and mangled by an odd black substance we just found like laying around the inside of the head. It's now, the company said they had no clue about what this substance is, but I do have some suspicions, honestly. Anyway, when we tried to put the tissue and the skin back together, it just didn't seem to stick. We tried everything. Stitches, hot glue, tissue from a donor a couple years back when this place was still just a hospital. But it wouldn't work, like, nonetheless. We came back a couple hours later after talking to the boss about the analogies we made and all of the skin cut off for the surgery was just gone like so forever this subject is just gonna have a lot of skin in some areas organs like piercing out and stuff uh anyway the verdict is that unless stated later at least 20 more subjects will be used for testing so far, the subject has not shown any aggression while in captivation, however, due to the fact that it's a first test, subject is not ready for release.